Welcome from the Office for Education Policy at the University of Arkansas. I'm Denise Arola. I'm the new Associate Director for the office, and I have been heavily involved in the development of the Arkansas Teaching, Learning, and Assessment System, and I'm excited to just share a high-level overview as we anticipate the release of scores from the first summative assessments given in 2024 in this new system. I've spent the past three plus years working with dear friends and educators from across the state to ensure that we have an assessment system that is responsive to the needs of our educators and our families. The Atlas is a system, not a test. It is designed by stakeholders for stakeholders. Over 3,700 educators told us about what the ideal assessment system would include, and Atlas is delivering on that. The system is aligned across all of the different tools and assessments to our Arkansas academic content standards. Each of the different parts of the system were built for purpose. And that purpose is to serve learning and the learner in different ways. Different tools are gonna to do different things for teachers, leaders, and parents. Different reports that you pull from the system are gonna do different things to support teachers, leaders, parents, and students in advancing their learning. How you interpret and use the results from the different parts of the system is determined by the unique role each of these different tools has within the system. Let's take a closer look. The grades three through high school system is designed to really reduce the burden on teachers and leaders and to provide what you've asked for in helping to understand how well students are learning in your classrooms, in your schools, and how well they're able to demonstrate their mastery of grade level standards. This all is going to start when you see your grades three through high school summative scores next week. When you see those scores, you're gonna be looking backwards at the students who took the assessment in the spring of 2024, and you're gonna be doing a systems check. A summative assessment is really intended to provide higher level information, general information about students' strengths and weaknesses relative to the grade level standards, and then at the higher level, such as classroom, school, district, it's intended to help you understand how well instruction is aligned to grade level standards. So it's a systems check. It's not intended to give you all the information you need about your students and what to do next. However, our new reporting system, not only can you look backwards at who you had in 2024, look at your alignment, look at where students were able to demonstrate mastery or not, you will also be able to see the students who are rostered to you right now. And so we go from looking backwards, almost an autopsy of how did last year go, to the students in front of us now. And you can look at their strengths and weaknesses at the classroom level, the grade level, the school level, the district level. What that does is it helps you to understand what you might need to do next, where are the weak areas, where are the strong areas. And that leads us into another part of the system, which is the classroom assessments. These are tools that teachers can use where they can either grab testlets or grab items aligned to Arkansas standards so that they can dig deeper into students' understanding and the consistency of their understanding. This is important because these tools are intended to support a formative process where teachers are responding to the learner in those moments of learning and students are responding to their own learning as, as it's going on. So the classroom tools have a slightly different purpose and because of that, how we use those scores is something you're gonna to want to pay attention to as, as we get into deeper training, not in this particular video, but coming soon. The classroom assessment tools that are there to support the formative assessment process are coupled with interim assessments. Now those interim assessments are built on the same blueprint as a summative. 
So if you're wondering at the at October or in January, how are students making progress on their grade level standards? This is the tool for you. It's a higher level than the classroom assessments. It's not going to tell you the next steps you take, but it can help you prioritize which standards you need to really focus on and in what areas you really need to support students in the time that you have with them before the end of the year. And then that loops us right back into our summative. So we're gonna to begin to see this cycle of different tools with different information to support learning for the learner and to support teachers in being able to focus on the needs of those learners and not be burdened by trying to figure out tools that may or may not be aligned to Arkansas academic content standards. So soon you're gonna be seeing your grades three through high school summative assessment scores from last year. But let's look ahead. Let's look forward to the students in front of you and another part of the system of assessments. And that is the K-3 screeners and the K-2 interims and summative. The K-3 screeners, which are required by law, have been designed to be aligned to the Arkansas standards, which are aligned to the science of reading and aligned to math and mathematical development. So you're gonna see these in early literacy and mathematics. And the screener is going to be a way for you to know which students are entering the grade level and they're ready to learn what's expected coming into kindergarten or first grade or second grade or third grade. It's also going to alert you where students might have some foundational needs. As you get alerted to those, you're going to have some very special tools in your toolbox to learn more about what you need to do to support these students. And those are the diagnostic testlets. The diagnostic testlets allow you to go deeper into specific early constructs in literacy and math. And this to me is where you really will get information that teachers have always wanted that we haven't really fulfilled. And that is based on how the student did in this testlet, I pretty much know where they need to go next. And it's going to be very focused on that development and the learning progression that we expect of students as they move through those early developmental years of literacy and mathematics. Like the grades three through high school, these are intended to really ins to support you instructionally in the classroom. If you're wanting to know more about how students are making progress over time, you'll be able to give additional testlets in key areas, but you're also going to have a K-2 interim. And the K-2 interim is going to allow you to see how students are progressing following your instruction on grade level standards. How are they doing in those learning progressions? And it's gonna help you to prioritize and align learning activities that you plan for the rest of the year that you have with these students. And then finally, the K-2 summatives, same blueprint as the interim. So the expectation is that from the interim, you're gonna see who's progressing and who's not. You're gonna be able to advance, intervene, support, scaffold, and then hopefully that will all make a difference that you will then be able to see on the K-2 summative. So with all of these different tools within the system, you're gonna have your finger on the pulse of how students are doing relative to expectations in mastering grade level standards. And this is gonna give you more to work with than we've had before because this information is directly related to their learning. It's not a separate assessment that is partially aligned to the Arkansas standards. It's not a separate assessment that um, needs translation from the results to what does this mean in this student's learning progression. I'm super excited about this and you can tell. <laughs> Finally, I want you to stay tuned because this is a super high level intro to what's coming. You guys are already working in the system. What you're going to be needing to learn is how do you use the results from the different tools in the system. And there will be 
training to come. So DESE will be visiting education service cooperatives to provide training on the reporting system and the different types of access. And here at OEP, we'll be coming to you with more as well. So stay tuned.